Hi, this is Jen from streaksmart.com. Um, I've got DJ Steve's newest Android 2.2 build running on my Dell Streak here. It's version 1.2. And there are a lot of great features and optimizations included in this build. But what I'd like to show you now are the new stage widgets that will be in Dell's official 2.2 ROM that's scheduled to be released later this month. Uh, the stage widgets can only be used with the Dell stage launcher. Uh, they're not available when you use a different home launcher like ADW or Launcher Pro. So if you want to use these widgets then you need to use Dell's launcher. Um, it has seven home screens that uh, overlap when they're in landscape mode showing you a one by four column from the adjacent screen. Uh, when you turn the device into portrait mode each widget is contained on its own screen. Um, all of the screens look like they're really widely spaced out, 6x4 grids, but really they're only 4x4 four four grids because of the overlap. Um, you can place one stage widget or up to 16 1x1 one one shortcuts or icons on each screen. Um, you can add things to these areas as well, but you need to do it on the adjacent screen. Uh, so for example, if we wanted to add a shortcut in this screen you can't actually drag it there uh, instead you would need to go to the adjacent screen and add you know whatever it is uh, and then it'll show up on the previous screen um, it's interactive though, so it's not really a big deal that you have to add it from the other screen, although it's pretty weird. Um, there are a total of seven stage widgets available. I think you just kind of saw them there, but there are contacts, email, gallery, home, music, social, and web. And since each one takes up a full screen, uh, if you want to use all of them, then that means that you can't add anything else to your home screens. Um, I'm using a theme right now on my streak. So what you're seeing at the top and some of the icons that you'll see um, aren't what Dell's build will look like. Um, but there are some things that Dell's launcher, uh, stock launcher, will have that I can show you now. Uh, the first is this bottom dock here. Oops. That shows up briefly when you tap the bottom of the screen. And you can slide your finger across of it to navigate between home screens. And if you're using a stage widget, then its icon will appear in the dock. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get that generic Android image there that you see on the right. Um, the other feature of this launcher is that the app tray comes up from the bottom. So you can swipe the screen to get it, or you can also just tap the uh, standard apps button there. And you've also got a horizontal app tray that actually does make full use of the 6x4 grid here. There's no overlap, like on the home screens. Um, this version of Dell Stage that's in DJ St Steve's build is labeled version 1.5.1-28- Froyo. Uh, it isn't clear whether this is the version that will be included in the official update so what you're seeing may not be what's actually going to be released. I don't think there will be any major changes from what you see here but I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that. Um, overall after using Stage for a few hours on my streak um, I don't really like it very much. It's um, it's much better, of course, than Dell's previous custom launcher, but there's enough about it that I don't like that makes me not want to use it. Um, you know, the widgets are pretty nice, 
but they waste a lot of space and they don't really have enough functionality to justify their size. Uh, for example, the home widget here shows you your nine most recent apps. Um, you know, you could also just long press the home button and see eight of your most recent apps. So I don't really, this is not really very useful. Um, it would have been better if you could actually customize the icons that are shown here so that it could sort of be like a favorites list or something. Um, also, having the screens overlap in landscape, make it look interesting, I guess, at first, but it really serves no purpose because being able to see a quarter of a stage widget on an adjacent screen is pretty useless, especially when you can't interact with the parts that you see. So, for example, on this side, I can see Astro and Camera on the twi and Twitter, but I can't actually interact with it. So. Why would I want to see it? If I want to actually get it, I need to go to the screen that it's on and then tap on it. Um, a couple of other things that I don't really like are that the um, some of the widgets don't auto-refresh when you view them, like the uh, social and the email widgets. Um, whereas the recent apps widget refreshes almost immediately when you view it, and I think that's more useful. There's also a little consistency issue that kind of bugs me. Uh, the widgets resize themselves um, according to screen orientation, but only three of them, the um, music, email, and social widgets, actually show more information. Um, The other four, home, web, gallery, and contact, show the same amount of information in both modes. So for instance, you have five bookmarks plus some more bookmarks. And then when you flip it, you have five bookmarks and the more bookmarks. Doesn't really utilize the extra space very well. Uh, anyway, that's a look at what you can expect from the Stage UI when it's released with the official Android 2.2 update for the Dell Street. Visit streaksmart.com for more information, and thanks for watching. Bye.